Hi, Vincent Scully from Cart Integrator, and welcome back to our training where we're looking at our system configuration. So if we want to look at our next option, it is users. So within users, we've three tabs, users, user groups, and API. Let's take a look at users. So within the user section, we can actually add in users. And by default, we have our admin user, and we can log in here, and we can specify the user details. So first name, last name, email address to be used. We can add an image, and this image you can see up here in the top right. That's a little picture of me. And we can specify the password to be used with this particular admin account. Also, we can associate that user to a particular user group. So if you have multiple users administrating your store, you may want to add them to these particular, uh, sorry, you may want to add the user here. The next part we want to look at is our user groups. So within user groups, we can go in and at the moment we have an administrator group and we have a demonstration group. Let's take a look at administrator. So when we go in here, we can see we've got a lot more granular control. We can see whether or not people can access the various elements within our store and we can see whether or not they can modify those various elements within the store. So this is very powerful granular control over all of the various aspects of your store. So if you wanted to add a user group, all you're going to do is click the plus button. You're going to give that user group a name and then you would just define which parts of the store they could have access to. So the catalog is the front end of your store. And then you would be looking at extensions, which are the pieces of functionality which are um, available in the admin of the store. Most users won't really get into this level of control, but possibly if you have a third party um, support account that needs admin access, you could create a support account, give them admin access, and then you would create a user called support and then add that user to the user group. And then you can enable and disable that as you see fit. So you could keep it disabled until you want to give that person access to your store to carry out some support work. When they're finished, you lock it down. So you're not giving out your admin user details. The API is really something you're not gonna change, but you can go in there to the API. You can add a different API should you wish, or you can regenerate your API. So generally, you're not gonna use this information um, very often. Okay, so that is our user section training covered.